Hey, what's up everyone? It's Larry from WSTrades.com. I want to do a technical analysis video on ticker symbol PLTR or Palantir Tech Inc. Uh, haven't looked at their chart in a real long time. Uh, we had a very, they might still be around, a very enthusiastic uh, Palantir fan that was subscribed uh, that always loved these videos when me and James would do it. Uh, but I saw they were kind of trending and took a look at their chart and Saw some interesting stuff. So if you see this orange line up here, this I actually drew kind of like my last video where I did it on uh, AQST. I was trading off of a line that I had drawn, I think it was like two years ago or something, and started looking at our chart after I saw that, and then actually took a trade on it and made out, I believe, 50%, which wasn't much. I, you know, I, if I would have held, I'd still, I'd be up insanely. But it's just one of those things, those penny stocks, I don't like trading very often anyways. Uh, so, you know, make 50% in a couple days, I'll take it. But what that orange line is that you saw on the daily chart, if we go to the weekly, um, it was from this level. So about, was this two years ago? Yeah, uh, March of 2021. So yeah, not two years ago. Um, and they couldn't break through that orange level, which is at about 27.50. Uh, hit it twice and got rejected, broke through it on the weekly, and this would have probably been a trade I would have taken uh, had I known a little bit more about the company or, you know, if I was more interested in them, because you can see it breaks through on the weekly and then gaps down right to that level again, uh, gets sold off a little bit, but then gets bought right back up to about that previous week's level. So to me, that's a beautiful long signal, but like I said, had I gotten into it, I, I would have got absolutely crushed on this had I not had a stop in, which I would have had in right here. <laughs> so I wouldn't have lost too much, but still would have lost on that trade. And you see after that, they just couldn't, just had a fat sell off and then kind of chopping sideways for a really long time. And then uh, he had earnings, big rip off of that, kind of died off just a little bit off of the next earnings. And then just kind of flopping around. Let's go back to the daily time frame. So... To me, I'm looking at this level that I drew a long time ago, and I would take it, take it into account, um, see if they can close above that on this daily time frame, uh, especially on the weekly. So, uh, well, that's tomorrow is the end of the week anyway. So if they can close above that, I might take a little nibble on this, and I would put my stops in at about 27.50. And, you know, if it does like it did on that, the weekly time frame, then cool. I didn't lose much money. Uh, if not, I would anticipate this acting like some nice support. Good news is, uh, they are one of these stocks that are going crazy because of the AI craze. Uh, I thought before when I was looking at them a long time ago, I thought they were just like a cloud storage company for basically the government. And, uh, I was reading that they got, let me pull up the news, got a big contract actually. Um, yeah, I don't know where it went, but they got like a hundred and something million dollar contract from the army, uh, for some sort of AI tech. And, uh, their CEO came out and was talking about how AI is kind of the new, going to be the new standard for warfare and stuff. So, um, not really the type of stocks that I like to trade anyways, but the AI craze going, I could definitely see them breaking through this level, but I mean, over just a year period, it's up 260%. So from a technical standpoint, I would say they're probably going to reject this, but after this fat rip off of earnings, I, I could see them breaking through. And especially with everything, you know, you even say the word AI and your stock just goes crazy. So, um, that is a key level that I, I'm looking at right now, 2750. If they can close above that tomorrow, I might go long. And like I said, have tight stops on it because if it does exactly what it did uh, the last time that I drew that line, then, you know, I don't want to be holding the bag for this thing to dump down. Um, I think if that level does, if they do get rejected right here, then I could see them coming down and testing around uh, this high right here before earnings at about 2185. Um, if it doesn't make it quite that far, quite that far down, I would like to see this thing uh, finally break through. So, you know, that's a key level I'm looking at for Palantir, uh, 2750. See if they can break through that. And, you know, like I said, I'll take a little nibble on it. 
go long and have a, a tight stop. So anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys have any other tickers you would like me to review, do my little technical analysis on, uh, leave them in the comments, please, and make sure you are subscribed.